Hey, Dewan, the grandmother has her suspicion, but the Fayetteville Police Department, they are not confirming that information right now. They are the leading agency in this investigation. Meanwhile, that family is heartbroken and rightfully so. Again, I spoke with the grandmother and the child's father. They told me that they were just with the one year old two days ago, both in tears tonight, saying her death was preventable and she should still be with them today. Her grandmother said a Fayetteville neighbor called her early this morning and told her Kiana wasn't responsive and not breathing. Fayetteville police said homicide detectives were actively investigating her death. Now the cause of death will be determined by the medical examiner's office. Kiana Swenson just celebrated her birthday not even a month ago. Her grandmother showed us around her room and continued to share how much her baby girl was loved. I have so many memories with her for over the last year. She stayed with me a lot. When I wasn't working, she was here with me. She was here with me. That was my baby. She was like the little girl I never had. And I just don't know how I'm going to go on without her. And just heartbreaking that family is searching for answers. They want to know exactly how did this one year old die again? They told me they believe her death was preventable. So their fight for answers is just beginning. But again, Dewan, as you mentioned off the top here, very emotional for this family. Yeah, just to hear the heartbreak in Miss Smith uh, and, and in her talking to you, just absolutely have to have to feel for that family. Jamisa, again, live for us tonight. Thank you.